Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's Trantra down here and uh, I thought I'd just share a quick video update uh, with you to show you what I've been working on over the last couple of weeks. Uh, if you've uh, been watching my videos, you'll know I've been saying for quite a few months now about rehousing re certain tarantulas and moving things around or not. And it's finally complete. It's, um, I had to do it because of tarantulas getting bigger and new ones coming in and whatnot. So um, I just thought I'd just show you how I've got my setup. So. At the moment, this is how it is. Um, there's quite a few things, so I'm going to do a little tour and walk around the room and tell you what I've got and where they are, and you know, all that kind of stuff. I've got to stand on my bed oh, so I can get high enough. So, in here is my female Brachypoma boemi, and uh, this one is my Brachypoma classy. False Widows, uh, your Kanta Calcarata eggs, and in this one here, my little A Verticola, who's just doing some webbing up, keeping it, uh, it's got the warmth from the enclosure below, um, and obviously with the window open it gets plenty of ventilation, so it's all good. Uh, these are two mature male um, OBTs, uh, female Ceratogrus Marshalli, uh, and this one is my female OBT, done a huge web up there as you can see uh, let me get off my bed <laughs> uh, the back here uh, these two uh, are Pocolotheria pedicenae uh, this is my Brachypoma abapalosum um, I'm not sure what she's doing to be honest she's just been digging out the substrate and whatnot but that's what she wants to do I will leave her to it of course I have my two geckos here's Gex down here it's awesome, and my cheeky female, just popping her head up. <laughs> um, and here is my Somphus iramina, a Pocolotheria pedicenae, a HMAC. Uh, these are both uh, kind of small juveniles in here. It's an adult female. Uh, this is my uh, male Eurocantha calcarata, and I will be getting some more um, adult females to put in there with him. You can see how big that tank is for himself, which is a bit of a shame. In here, this is my wolf spider, who's actually hiding. If you saw my wolf feeding video uh, that I did um, this afternoon, you'll know that the spider is actually hiding just down here. Uh, this is my um, heterometer spinifer, the uh, giant Asian scorpion. Um, in here is my, um, I'd say, the juvenile uh, owl. Brachypalma bopalosum and in this one here is a Brachypalma vegans around about the same size you know probably inch and a half two inches just started to get the uh, adult colours I have uh, another Pocolothero pedicine in this coffin tank here uh, another one in this enclosure here uh, these two are definitely females and I believe this one in as, as well I believe these are males so two males, three females, which is quite good. Uh, and here are my jungle nymphs. Uh, you can see the female in plain sight, just here. And the male is actually, you can just see that bit of the tail there. Looks like the plant, but that's actually his tail. <laughs> uh, tail end, rather. Uh, down here is my Gramosola pulchra, the Brazilian black. Uh, my Indian rose mantis, who's actually out and about. You can just see it on the side there. I have three Cryptodromus Puriscale, the um, Black Amelia, I believe they're called, common name. Uh, Joint African Mantis here. Let's pop this down. You can see it just there. Big and fat. Probably going to mock soon. And in this one here, there is a Dead Leaf Mantis. Um, which is where it always is actually which is just hiding underneath there uh, under that leaf moving down uh, these two enclosures here uh, both house uh, Gramosola uh, pull gropes the Chaco Golden Knee there's one at the back up there and uh, this one is Olivia 
And Scarlet, which is this one in here, she's, there's actually two hides. There's one there, which she doesn't use, and she hides down in this one, in this corner. Um, in here, I don't know if I'll be able to get this one out. There she is. My Huntsman. It says chuck a golden name, but it isn't. <laughs> you can see my Huntsman is there. Getting big. Um, it eats like, honestly, it's unbelievable how much that spider eats. Um, down here, I'll get you actually up there. If you can see it or not, is my Nandu Crematus, mature female. Uh, just lots of food and things down there, empty enclosures and grub for feeding um, feeders. Over here, the Vacupal Albiceps up there with some food that she's not eaten. So she could molt, which would be quite nice. Um, this one's my uh, Bee Smithy, again, refusing food. So hopefully she will molt as well. As uh, my mature male Nandu Crematus. Uh, this is the Steef. You can see, see his hooks there on both of his legs. You can see he's got a much bigger enclosure, plenty of bur dirt for burrowing. Uh, this one is my Brachypalma Amelia, my favourite of my Brachys. And in this one up here, for some reason it likes to hide up here in the lid, is my um, Bracky Palmer Carlenbergi. So, um, yeah. Oh, and of course, how could I forget? Uh, this one here is Zelda. Um, this spider needs no introduction. My absolute favourite tarantula. Huge girl. Still no sign of an egg sucker, though, but uh, still got plenty of time left. She won't be mol molting for a year at least, so you know. And of course, up here is my huge um, giant Asian scorpion. So, yeah, that's my setup at the moment. I've been working on this for the last few weeks, rehousing a few teas at a time, and more than anything, is trying to get the layout right because it's just the room. I don't have room for anything. Um, I mean, I've got like my bed here, um, and then it's literally just tanks all the way around with the exception of my chest of drawers and my wardrobe and my door, so uh, I can't get any more tanks in here really, um, though there are ways for me to overcome that. <laughs> um, so yeah guys, this is a quick look at my, you know, my setup at the moment, you can see it's um, going up again, obviously especially with the addition of some slings that I'll be having in the uh, near future. It's going to be full. <laughs> I'll have to get some shelves, put up above my bed or something like that. You can see my uh, my wild widow up there, just chilling out. And I think there's another one as well, which is up here. Doesn't bother me though. Um, so yeah guys, that's my room, my setup. I hope you... Um, like it I suppose. Um, yeah I'll also be getting some new additions in the week. I've got uh, five uh, flower mantis coming in the week. Uh, probably only um, like first in stars so about that size. But I'm getting five of them which should be all, uh, you know pretty awesome. Um, so hey guys if you'd like me to do an update and maybe show you the inside of the enclosures more than that let me know what you think. Um, any feedback would be greatly appreciated. Uh, like I said, I've got plenty more additions coming in the next few weeks to add to my uh, to my collection. Um, and yeah, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for for your continued support and input. I do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, guys, take care of yourselves, and I will speak to you soon.